Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Philosophy. You can call me Ify. You can call me Zach. Whatever scratches your back, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your pickle. And today, I am bringing you a commentary. A commentary over some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this commentary and this gameplay. And today, in this commentary, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about things you need to know about Infinite Warfare. Now, if you guys didn't know, Infinite Warfare reveal trailer was released yesterday as of when I'm making this video. And a lot of you probably seen the video. A lot of hate was on the video. A lot of stuff went down when it came to the video. Today, I'm here to tell you guys things you need to know about Infinite Warfare based on the trailer. Starting with the first thing is advanced movements. There is going to be advanced movements in Infinite Warfare, but we don't know exactly how they're going to play out. Most people are thinking they're going to be pretty similar to Black Ops 3. But me personally, I think it's going to be different than Advanced Warfare and different than Black Ops 3. I think it's going to be a little bit similar to Black Ops 3 in terms of a little bit of thrusting and stuff like that. But I think because you're going to be in different planets, you know, different solar systems and stuff like that. Well, I don't necessarily know solar systems. But since you're going to be different planets, different areas within the galaxy, I feel like you're going to go ahead and boom, going to be, you know, floating around a little bit based on where you're at but maybe you're not I don't necessarily know but you got to know that there is some advanced movements in the game but I think they're gonna limit it so it's mostly boots on the ground bang next thing you got to know is that you got to remember that if you pre-order infinite warfare you're not guaranteed cod for remastered okay you have to get the leg the legacy edition the digital legacy edition or the digital deluxe edition to be able to get call of duty 4 remastered you can't just get infinite warfare base game which is sixty dollars you have to pay the eighty dollars the hundred and whatever dollars to be able to go ahead and get the base game okay you got it. I mean, to be able to get COD 4 Remastered, not the base game. So, you can go ahead and do that. And if you want the Season Pass, then you gotta pay the Digital Deluxe Edition. Bang! Moving on to the next thing that you should know about Infinite Warfare is that it is futuristic. Yes. It is in space. Yes. We saw a lot of things that people hated in the trailer. Yes. But you have to remember that this is a campaign trailer. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, they, you know, we didn't think this was going to be in multiplayer, but it was, and yada, yada, yada. Yes, that is true. That happened with Advanced Warfare. That happened with Black Ops 3. But you got to know, you got to know, guys, that even so, even though some elements are the same, a lot of things are different in multiplayer than campaign and you can't deny that. It still looks a little bit the same, still feels a little bit the same, but you can tell a difference. So you gotta keep that in mind. That this was a campaign trailer, not a multiplayer trailer. So the multiplayer is going to be a little bit different. So just wait till the multiplayer trailer. Bang! Fourth thing you must know is that the Infinite Warfare hate is not needed, boys and girls. You may hate the game because it's futuristic. You may think, oh, this game is trash. This game is too futuristic. This is Halo. This is Destiny. Why is it in space? Call of Duty. This isn't Call of Duty. The hate is ridiculous. Okay? This is Infinity Ward. This is Call of Duty nonetheless because they make Call of Duty if they want to make Call of Duty this way they're going to make it this way because it is their game they want to do with it what they want to do with it so let them do what they want the hate is not needed and you have to know that they always come through in the end no matter if it's Advanced Warfare, Ghosts, Black Ops 3 the three I guess hated games recently that people hate because of advanced movements and ghosts just people thought it was boring and stuff you gotta know that they always come through and you know add a little bit of flavor add something that makes the game 
want to be played make people want to play the game and get addicted to it so you got to know that yes you can hate but don't judge the game before you even play it at least play the beta if they have a beta before you judge the game and let's go with the next thing bang fifth thing we are talking about the beta which i just finished talking about if you don't play the beta don't hate the game is there going to be a beta with call of duty 4 remastered and call of duty infinite warfare i do not know guys no one truly knows except for activision and infinity war probably treyarch and maybe sledgehammer games and you know raven as well but as for the people that play call of duty the community themselves they do not know do i think there will be a beta i have a little bit of a feeling that there is going to be a beta at least for infinite warfare you guys already know that with black ops 3 they went ahead and released a beta it was very very successful made the sales numbers go up a ton but i don't necessarily know if they will this time around or not for the main reason that back when they you know went ahead and you know talked about the campaign and stuff like that they went ahead and said pre-order and get the get a beta with the game if you pre-order now they're not doing that what they went ahead and did is 1000 cod points if you get if you pre-order the game digitally or I believe it's like 500 or a poster or something if you get it from GameStop. So, I don't necessarily know if there's going to be a beta. There is no guarantee there's going to be a beta. Nobody has really talked about it. Infinity Ward has never done a beta with multiplayer, obviously. And I don't necessarily know if there will be a beta, but hopefully there is. I am really hoping there is because I definitely want to play this game before it is released and get my hands on it and bring you guys some A1 content. So that's about it for this video. There are five things that you should know about Infinite Warfare. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smack the like button on this video. If this video gets to, let's say, 25 likes, I will go ahead and release another video giving you the top five things you should know about Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Make sure to go check out my Twitter and my Twitch down in the description below. I hope you guys have a nice and safe day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to stay classy, stay humble, and stay on the grind. This has been Philosophy, and I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. Peace.